Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Yesterday I received an email that one of our viewers across the country had watched the video on fear. And believe it or not, I get a lot of feedback on that particular video. I've done a couple of them on fear, but they had a really good question. I'm going to address that today because it seems as though that's a huge topic with a lot of us. A lot of people are in fear about the future, they're in fear about where the next dollar's coming from, where the next meal's coming from, are they going to be able to pay the rent? This viewer brought up another kind of fear that, quite frankly, I never really addressed before on this program. So let's talk about it right now. It's the kind of fear that you get when everything around you is kind of okay, but then you read a book or you watch a movie and it causes you to start thinking about stuff. You know, there's a lot of movies out there right now that can concoct some really weird scenarios and then our mind, because we're so creative, starts coming up with ideas that transform our lives into transplanting those fears right into the things that are going on around us. And this person wanted to know, what do you do about that kind of fear? Since you're kind of making it up inside your own head anyway, but it's being generated by books or scenarios that you watch in a movie or a television program. Well, here's what's going on first of all. All fear is usually created from one of two things, either a phobic reaction that has no logic to it at all, or an actual reaction from an experience that you've had. When you're watching these kind of movies, and believe it or not, I was watching those scary movies when I was a kid. I was fascinated by monsters and vampires and Dracula and all these kinds of things. And I planted a lot of fears inside my head that I've lived with my entire life. It's hard to stay away from that stuff because there's a part of us that naturally likes to be afraid. It's kind of an adventurous reaction the human being has. It's our quest for adventure. It's our quest for curiosity and solving problems. When we read a movie or read a book or watch a movie, what happens is that fear as we read it, translates in our own mind as reality. And then there's a part of our brain that rereads that when we think about it and thinks it's an experience that actually happened, even though it didn't. It's almost a phobic kind of a reaction. One of the easiest things you can do to stop that in your head is to reconcoct a new scenario using that information. And here's what it would be like. It would be like closing your eyes for a moment, imagining you're in a movie theater, and you're watching a movie of you up on the screen going through one of these fearful experiences and just watch it to the end and then stop that movie and then rewind it in your own mind without opening your eyes just very quickly and then transplant in that a couple of superheroes or cartoon characters and go through that experience in color in your own mind watching those cartoon characters experiencing it with you. I know this sounds silly. It actually works and do this two or three times and then finally roll to the end of it where you're safe again and then just open your eyes step out of that movie and you're going to notice that that reaction of fear that you had from reading that book watching that movie or whatever experience you had that was a superficial experience is going to be desensitized much more than it was prior to doing that Experiment with that if you've had these experiences. I appreciate that viewer emailing me and asking that question. And you're all welcome to do the same. I get a lot of them every day, but I thought that was a good one to address today. As we start a brand new year, let's not go through it afraid of the future. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.